To get to reporting, we'll need to find the left-hand menu bar and scroll down until we get to reports. Once you highlight it, you'll see reports again and you can select it. At this point, the reports are loading and you'll see a variety of reports, not just payroll, but also those accounting reports have to do with balance sheet, um, accounts receivable reports, sales reports. You'll continue to scroll down until you see the word payroll. And these are the reports that are specific to your payroll. You can run reports on uh, payroll tax liabilities, retirement plan data, payroll tax payments, paycheck history. We're actually just going to run a report on payroll details. This should show us just the details of specific payrolls that we've run with employee names, amounts paid, taxes paid, and whatnot. So you'll have to choose a couple of options here um, to, so that QuickBooks Payroll knows exactly how to put your report together. So for instance, the date range, you can run it based on the last pay date, um, any payroll details for the past month or this month, we're actually going to run it for this year. So this will show us every payroll that we have run this year. And then you'll be able to select the specific employees that you want or the types of employees. So if they're active or inactive, we're going to select all employees. Once you've made the selections that are available for your report, and mind you, they can be different depending on the reports that you actually are running, you will click run report. And uh, your data may not be ready as quickly as this, just depending on how much you have. But for, for us, we really just have one payroll run here. So it came up pretty quickly, but it still shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. So as you see for the payroll detail report, we have the employee name, we have their regular pay rate, the number of hours they worked, taxes paid uh, that were paid by amounts withheld from the employee paycheck, and then also that were paid from the company's bank account. You also can see like the net pay amounts um, and even the date paid and the, the pay period that they were paid for. If you were to run this report, it's probably going to have quite a bit more data just because you probably have more than one employee. Uh, and if you're running it for the whole year, typically you will have, have had quite a few pay periods. But this is the gist. So once you get your report, you have a couple of options as to how you can get it out of your system um, and make it into a more user-friendly format. So if you look on the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the word share and an arrow beside it once you click it, you can, you can share it. You can export it to Excel. That's if you may want to manipulate the data in some way or link it to another spreadsheet. And you can also just select printer friendly, which essentially just creates a PDF of this data and allows you to print it. And that's how you run a report in QuickBooks online.